Yo, what's good everyone? Your boy Deke back again with another vid. Just wanted to do a quick reaction to some of the news that dropped yesterday, day one of free agency. Not officially, but it's the first day that you could start agreeing to deals. And some of the stuff impacted the Steelers. Bud Dupree signs with the Titans, Matt Filer signs with the Chargers, and the Steelers re-signed Cam Sutton. So here's the first one. Bud Dupree signs with the Titans. For me, a day removed from the news, it's just nice to know what the Steelers are going to be working with coming up rest of free agency and for next season. I think we all knew kind of that Bud Dupree was going to be leaving just based off the potential numbers, but we didn't know what that was. We saw that he got $16.5 million per year. There was no shot the Steelers were going to be able to re-sign him for that. So at least we know it's almost like a little bit of a sigh of relief. Now, if it was around 10, 11, 12 million a year, maybe the Steelers could have worked that out. But at 16.5 million, man, just good for Bud Dupree. He got his money, well deserved. We appreciate everything he's done here in Pittsburgh, but you know how it is, man. Next man up, we drafted Alex Highsmith in the third round for a reason, just in case this happened, and Chase Claypool, just in case we lost Juju. Kind of a very similar scenario. A lot of people feel really, really high on Alex Highsmith. Other people think he's gonna take a little bit longer to develop. So we're gonna have to see. We're just hoping that he does develop at a faster rate and can start getting double digit sacks as soon as next year. And then one of the caveats a lot of people are talking about with Bud signing for the Titans is that he didn't go to Cleveland. We don't have to face him two times a year. So I guess there's that. I didn't even really know Cleveland was in the running for Bud Dupree, but can you imagine Bud Dupree and Miles Garrett as their edge rushers? That wouldn't be good for the Steelers. But for Bud Dupree, best of luck, except when he's facing us. I don't even know if we face the Titans next year. That's honestly like one of the corniest jokes. Best of luck on your new team, just not against us. Ha ha ha. And then here are a few remarks from Bud Dupree's former teammates. Couldn't be happier for Bud. Great player, even better teammate. I'm going to miss our picnics in the backfield. Yeah, dude, these last two seasons, Bud Dupree and TJ Watt, they were probably the best pass rushing duo in the league until Bud Dupree got hurt. You look at their 2019 season, they were one of only four tandems on the Steelers that had double digit sacks. The other ones, it was like Lamar Woodley, James Harrison, Greg Lloyd, Kevin Green, and then Joey Porter and Jason Gilden, I believe. That is some pretty good company right there. And then Cam Hayward, he had two tweets. Tennessee just got a hell of a man in Bud Dupree. Y'all don't know how great he is. Wishing you nothing but the best. And then the second one, Cam's a little pissed off. All I got to say is screw all these agents taking away teammates. And then he says, I'm JP. Glad my dude's getting paid. A little bit of a typo there. Should have been JK. It's all good. And then lastly on the Bud Dupree news is John Clayton. He's taking some hits, man. So he says a couple months ago, he expects Bud Dupree to sign a one-year deal for around $6 million. If that was the case, like he says right here, the Steelers would have made that happen one way or another. There's no question about that. We were just wondering, is he going to be getting up in the teens? There was some uncertainty with the ACL injury. But then we see five-year deal worth a max of $85 million. On the initial tweet, Bud Dupree's laughing at him. This dude, we got a Steelers insider, is laughing at him. Leave John Clayton alone, man. John Clayton's a legend. Ever since he did this commercial. It's hard to find an expert more dedicated than John Clayton. He's the consummate pro. We'll see how the 4-3 and the cover three work together. John Clayton with the lead. Thanks, Dan. Take care. And whenever we need a brilliant insight, he's available at the drop of a hat. Hey, Ma! I'm done with my segment! Next, we have Matt Filer to the Chargers. I said yesterday on the Pens React, this thing came out of nowhere in my opinion. There wasn't too much news on Filer. I just kind of assumed that he was going to be back at maybe like three or four million, but his market said otherwise. Three years, 21 million. Same thing with Filer with Dupree. It's almost like a sigh of relief. Like, all right, the Steelers weren't going to pay this. Maybe he's getting a little overpaid at this point. I think he's 28, 29 years old. Now we know, Dotson's gonna be starting at guard. We got Dotson and DeCastro, unless anything happens with the Steelers restructure or release of DeCastro. Chook's probably on the right tackle or banner. They're gonna be competing. And then we just draft another tackle center. That's probably the one position we're gonna have to try to work out. But overall, same with Bud Dupree, good for Matt Filer. Hope he does well with the Chargers, just not against us. And then lastly, actually happened first though, the Steelers re-signed Cam Sutton, two year, $9 million deal. This works for me. This is something we don't have to address in the draft now. 
There was questions, are we going to bring back Cam Sutton or Mike Hilton? Is there a chance neither of them come back? So I'm just glad that we've got either Cam or Mike Hilton back. Now there's still some talks of potentially Mike Hilton coming back. The Bengals were eyeing him up, but they just signed a cornerback. So either way, we have three solid cornerbacks and then an upside play with maybe Justin Lane or James Pierre. So yeah, good deal all around. Only $2.1 million in cap space for this season. So I'm assuming the cap hit's gonna be a little bit more next season, but that's when we're gonna have a lot more cap space and Cam Sutton will still definitely be valuable for the Steelers. He'll still be in his prime. So all around, good deal. We were afraid that we were gonna lose both Cam Sutton and Mike Hilton. Then we'd have to worry about cornerback either in the rest of free agency or in the draft. So I'm definitely happy about this move. Looking forward to the rest of the 2021 free agency. I don't know what's gonna be happening with Juju. It looks like he's gone. Hopefully we bring in John Brown and Le'Veon Bell. Those are my two bold predictions that I'm hoping for. But hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Let me know what you guys thought of the news, the loss of Bud Dupree, Matt Filer, and re-signing of Cam Sutton. I don't know when I post this vid if there's gonna be some more news, so I'll post an edit in the description or something like that, and you could comment on that as well. So stay chilling. Have a good rest of the day, and peace.